Well, good morning, friends. Mark Holmes here with Michael Anthony Fitness. And I am the luckiest man in the world. You know why I'm. Oh, damn. Sorry. Let me drop that down some so it doesn't shimmy so damn much. I tell you why I am the luckiest man in the world. Because I woke up and was able to get out of bed. I feel lucky as can be. But not only that, I'm happy because I am actually able to work with my son. He is actually a driving force. You know, what's kind of interesting is... That's right, I am driving. Well, no, I'm driving. I'm driving right now, okay? He's got a driving force like you don't drive. See, you, you, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but we're like yin and yang. Okay, we're, we're like yin and yang. See, I am the the guy that, that has sympathy and everything else, that, that does business with my heart as opposed to my head. Michael's on the flip side of it. He's like, he's not the personal dude, but this is business. You got to pay. Right? I mean, you know, and I'm kind of like, yeah, I understand. They laid on their rent. You know, they got hard times. It's like, listen, I feel you for that, but that your problem ain't got nothing to do with me. So, you know, he, he's a balancing force. So in between the two of us, we have an equilibrium, you know? And yes, my hair is still crazy, okay? And, and last night, that, that, that live stream, that, that was funny. You got to admit that this hair, this, this is... This hair, it, it, it's crazy, because I, I can pity the fool. I can pity the fool. Okay, anyway, people who were on last night will get the joke. So, we were talking about us signing um, Keanu O'Neill last night, okay? Um, and we were also talking about us signing um, DeAndre. I keep putting the R on it. I keep, keep saying there's no R. DeAndre, DeAndre, Deon, I, I can't, I, I, it's, it's kind of like, the Japanese during World War II, one of the tests to find out if they were the enemy or not, they would say, say lollipop, and they would always say rari pop, rari pop. So they knew, if you said rari pop instead of lollipop, chances are that you might have been the enemy. And I'm sorry, I, I put R's in things that don't belong there. I just can't get it out, okay? Um, but we had people last night saying, oh man, you realize that that defense of uh, Atlanta's, man, they were bad, you know, they were like 27 to 28 to 20, you know, and, and just saying, you know, yeah, they're, 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 that, that whole defense is garbage, so that means everybody on the defense is garbage. But these same people will go through and say, let's go get K.J. Wright. And it's kind of like, you, you know Seattle's defense was ass last year too, right? You know it was ass. Now, K.J. Wright, you can't look at that guy and say he's not a winner, can you? I don't even know who he is. Okay, K.J. Wright is a beast. K.J. Wright is kind of like DeMar. He plays downhill, okay? He's a Are beast. Are you sure? Yeah, he is. Because their defense was ass. But that doesn't mean that everybody on the defense, that there's 11 guys. See, the, the con this is the problem. There's 11 guys on a defense. Yeah, but what, what's... And if not, it, 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 it only takes one really guy. Good. Okay, it only takes one guy to be bad to make a defense bad. You know, one guy misses assignments, you know, it's a touchdown. That doesn't mean that everybody's bad. But anyway, I wouldn't mind seeing KJ Wright for a one-year deal. He is 31. But I tell you who I really would like to do, because Seattle said yesterday, yesterday, all my troubles seem so far. I'm sorry, I digress. Yesterday, Seattle was talking about Jared Reed. And you're like, who? See, unfortunately, here's the problem. Interior defensive linemen get no love. Okay? Nobody knows about him. And I say, you know, guy had six and a half sacks. You're like, okay, and big deal. Well, isn't that about what D-Law had? And D-Law's a defensive end as opposed to a guy that plays in the middle. And you got to understand that your job as a guy in the middle is not about getting the glory. In fact, you know, you are the guy that's taking the bullet for everybody else. Because your job is to occupy space and hold the middle. You get beat to hell. And I, I believe me, because I'm still pissed about this, because I played nose guard, okay? A position that they don't even call it anymore. But I lined up over the center, which means not only am I only six inches away from his head, okay? Every play, we're like rams, battling heads, right? I got the freaking football right there in front of my nose and I can't touch it. But I only get, not only get hit by the center, I get hit by the guard. I get hit by the other guard. I get hit by the fullback. I get hit by the tight end with the wham block. Oh, and then from time to time, when you're not expecting it, the damn tackle comes down and he cleans your clock and hits you right in the ear hole and knocks you the F out. So, Jared Reed 
from the Seattle Seahawks. Seattle says, we would like to trade him or, or if not, release him. Now, we know how trades work with Seattle. We, we don't have that luxury. With, it, it, we've tried. We, we've tried. The only one we had succeeded was Joey Galloway, and that was ass. Two number ones for Joey Galloway, and he hurt his knee uh, in training camp and never did jack. But if Jared Reed becomes a free agent, Jared Reed, he's six foot three. I believe he's 28 years old. And this is not like Don Terry Poe. Don Terry Poe was more of a blob, a big guy that didn't move too much. Jared Reed is an absolute positive beast. You know what I mean? He's the kind of guy that I would be like, Ooh. if you put, I tell you what, if the Cowboys were able to get Jared Reed along with what they've done with safety, I'd be ecstatic. I would be 100% ecstatic because the problem with most people is they don't understand the importance at the point of attack of having a beast, a bad mother humper, a guy who gets pressure in the face of a quarterback. The Super Bowls that Tom Brady has lost, they all have one thing in common. They had a beast in the middle of the line putting pressure on Tom Brady. Quarterbacks don't like to have pressure in their face. How many times have we seen Aaron Frickin Rodgers, I hate that guy, being able to step up in the pocket and have a clear vision of, uh, of, of the field? Or, or see garbage-ass quarterbacks able to just run up the middle because there's nobody there. Seeing Tyrone Crawford, you know, he, he's playing tackle and he's going out wide. And then there's this, it's just like Moses parted the Red Sea. You get a guy like Jared Reed, you put him in the middle. You put a Tristan Hill and a Gallimore on there. This is if you're changing up defense. Just saying, if you're doing a two-man front, you put him out there with Gallimore, and you can rotate with some of the other guys. Oh my goodness, that defense would no longer be, no longer be, the 29th rated defense. You would see a major shift on that. And right now we have about 8.2 million dollars of cap room. We can get more. We can get more easily, just like other teams. You know, you can sign them to a deal and get a couple avoidable years. But this guy is still young enough that he doesn't have that many miles. What do you think about that, Mike? I'd be happy. I, I would be, you know, I, like I said, if they were to do that. Now, now KJ Wright, uh, if you put KJ Wright and him on that defense, and then you got the draft coming, oh, my God. Then you get your boy Patrick Sertan. Or J.C. Horn? No, 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 no. Why, why don't you want Horn? What's wrong with Horn? No. He's better than, uh, you know, some of the guys we got. Yeah, but I'd rather have Sertan. Okay. I'd rather have Sertan. You know what? I'd rather have me, a, you know, a brand new big pickup truck, you know, that's got all the bells and whistles. You know, they got the built-in generator and everything that's yeah, been, is, in there. But this but, is newer than what you had before. Well, I actually, I don't know if this is newer. The way Jet, Jet put all that work into her. Well, Jet, he, he took, <laughs> you know, if, if if Big Red saw me right now, she'd probably start up and run my ass over and be like, you mother, why do you treat me like this? Anyway, I digress. You know, there's a lot of things that we like, but I tell you what, if we can't get Patrick Sertan, okay? Well, he'll be there. The question is, are you going to draft him? Well, I tell you what, th that, that would be a complete makeover for this defense that I would be very on board with. Because uh, and I would say are you go from being early. 29th into a top 15 defense. And if we could be a top 15 defense that takes the ball away, uh, you, this team could go far. This team could go far. So I have to, uh, I got a lot of things going on. I got to go out in the country here, so I'm going to be in a dead zone for about an hour or so. I got this table that we've been building up. We've been making a cherry picking table. And they picked a color that we're going to stain it for because it's going to be outside. I got to go stain it. And then I got to get back to the workshop because I got those Super Bowl trophies. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Those Jobardi trophies that we're making in the workshop. And I got, is it 11 of them or 12 of them? I can't remember. But, but I got the first 12 that are about to be painted. And I've got more of them that I'm working on because I'm leaving on Sunday. I'm not going to be in the workshop, so i got to get these things done. So that way the work can continue whether or not I'm here. Because my yang, 
take care. Don't forget to tune in tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern, for our live stream. Because we're going to be giving another one of those away tonight. So be there. You better be there. You know, you, you know, come on. You know you're going to be there. All right. See you there. God willing.